25 and 26. Now my days are swifter than a post. A runner. They flee away. They see no good. You know, Job was thinking his life was about to end. It was starting to come to the end of the race. It was starting to fade away. And there was no purpose of it. You understand he's in a point of depression. We, when we, if we, when we get to this point, we gotta remember that, yeah, we may be discouraged. We may even fall into depression. But the Lord has us here for a reason. And if we're feeling sorry for ourselves, if we're down, it's gonna be hard for Him to work through that. To serve. We just got to keep running that race because he'll be there with us, cheering us on, and here to show his love to us at the end and support that we finished for him. So happy. And that's what we want. We don't want to see that it's no good. We may at times not see things as good. But we're to keep running with him. Regardless. Verse 26. They pass away as swift ships as the eagle that hastens to pray. So eagles just fly, hover over to pray, and then swoop down and attack. Um, they oftentimes don't go after things that are... They go after the weak, typically. Job here is at a place of weakness, and he believes something... He, he believes he's been attacked by everything that possibly could attack him, and that's true. His friends, his wife, somebody else left in his life, and they're turning his back on him, just blaming him. God don't seem to be anywhere. God allowed all this stuff to happen to him. So Job's in a very dis distressed and depressed state. Eagles just soar. Swift ships to move fast. So he's seeing his life just fading away like that. It's slipping out of the grasp of his hand where he has no control over it. And oftentimes we may feel like that. We don't have any control over our life. 